What is up my friends and welcome back to Hobble Creates. My name is Hobble and in the last episode I showed you how to automate farming. And as you can see between episodes I went ahead and tidied it up a little bit, give you guys a little bit of inspiration on how you can sort of uh, encase your farm. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I actually can't wait to use this design in a survival series. And if you did miss that episode then be sure to check that one out. But today my friends we are going to be sticking with the food theme and we're going to be automating bees. So if you are new here, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and remember to leave a like. And as always, down below, you're going to find all of the chapters so you can skip forward, skip back, whatever your heart desires. So why do we need to automate bees? Well, bees are going to give us honey. And honey, if we combine that with some apples from our tree farm, we can get ourselves some honeyed apples. Not only are honeyed apples an easy automatable food source, but honey is often used in mod packs as as part of their ingredients for their recipes. So knowing how to automate bees, kind of useful. We're going to start with a couple of temporary blocks. We're going to place down four of our diorite, which is our temporary block. And on top of there, we're going to pop down some beehives. Then we can go ahead and remove those temporary blocks. Then underneath, all we need to do is pop down some of our fluid pipes. Then on either side, we are just going to pop down some extra pipe. And on the end, we're just going to pop down a mechanical pump. Then attached to our mechanical pump, we're just going to pop down a fluid tank. This is where we're going to be pumping all of our honey into. Then in front of our beehives, we just need to pop down some flowers. And we're basically done. Now we just need to add a little bit of decoration. So we're going to come to one of the corners. I'm going to be using some strip spruce wood because it looks pretty. And all we're going to do is we're going to build a little bit of a box around where we've got our flowers. Then we're going to connect those together with some more strip spruce. Then we're going to take some framed glass because it is a nicer version of glass. And we're just going to fill in the roof and the sides. Then once you've got your box built, we're going to take a copper casing and we're just going to use it on this fluid pipe here. And all this is doing is on modded Minecraft, sometimes the bees are absolutely tiny. So filling in that little gap where the pipe comes through, very useful. Then lastly, let's just go ahead and throw in a door anywhere. It doesn't really matter too much because next up we need to get some bees into here. Now how you get bees depends on your mod pack. If you're playing vanilla create, then you can go out into the world, find some bees. You can place down a sapling next to some flowers and you can spawn in some beehives that way. But for me, we're just going to use a spawn egg because it's so much easier for me to do this. But there you go, once you've got your bees in, you just need to add some rotational power to your mechanical pump. So we're just going to take a cog wheel, we're going to lay it down flat, thank you very much. And we're going to supply some rotational power. And we're going to make sure our pump is facing the correct way towards our tank. We can also right click our pipe to make it so we can see through it. And given enough time, we should hopefully start seeing a little bit of honey. And after a little bit of decoration, you could end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Now, absolutely, you are going to want to scale this up a lot. You're going to want to add more bees, more beehives, more area, more pipes, more pumps, more storage. You're going to want to scale it up depending on your needs. This is just showing you how to do it. I'm really happy with the way this turned out and the limited time that I actually had to do this. So, so I went ahead and moved the door to the inside of our little building over here. We've got more copper casings going all the way down now, so they're all encased fluid pipes. I've upgraded our storage now to a 2x2x two by two by roof height, and we've already got two buckets of honey. And there we go, my friends. It's going to be as easy as that. So if you did enjoy yourself and you learned something new, then be sure to hit that subscribe button, as you are not going to want to miss the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.